Meanwhile, Hong Kong residents showed their disdain for the legislative polls which took place under the new Patriots-only rule imposed by China. And what it threw up was that just about 30 percent of the population came out to vote. 累積投票率是約 Hong Kong's leader Carrie Lam, however, has hailed the outcome, saying that one shouldn't copy-paste the so-called democratic system of the West. The Chinese state media has also hailed the election as a glowing success. I'm 在一次的選舉可以令到絕大部分的香港市民是肯定和認同這套完善特區選舉制度的重要性但是這個工作是要持續去進行 The voter turnout was just about 30%, almost half of the previous legislative polls that were conducted in 2016 where the voter turnout was about 58%. The latest results showed that almost all the seats were taken by pro-Beijing and pro-establishment candidates. The polls in which 153 candidates competed for 90 seats is the first election that's been held since China overhauled the city's electoral process earlier this year. And under the shake-up, the proportion of the directly elected seats was reduced to a two-tiered vetting system to ensure that only patriots could in fact run for the public office. This means that only about 20 of the 90 legislature seats will be directly elected and the largest chunk of the seats, 40, will be picked by a committee of 1,500 staunch China loyalists. The remaining 30 will be chosen by pro-Beijing committees. Voter turnout is a central issue as observers consider it to be a barometer of legitimacy in an election where pro-democracy candidates are largely absent and are also facing a crackdown from Beijing under the national security law. But Hong Kong leaders and also the elected candidates did not seem to think that the low voter turnout was an issue, saying that the 1.3 million ballots cast were a show of support for the improved electoral system. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.